起来的。Having fun, Mung Mung? Are you checking the light bulb? 这是魔法吗，克里斯博士？为什么灯泡能够亮起来呢 ？That's because of electricity. The movement of positive charges and negative charges generates electricity. 我知道你说过这是因为电力，可是我不明白正电荷和负电荷相互吸引和排斥是怎么制造出光的。That's okay, Mung Mung. I didn't expect you to understand it all by yourself. It took many scientists, engineers, and inventors to figure out the light bulb. Oh, oh! I thought I was getting a little ahead of you. It made you disappointed. No, no, Mang Mang. You are already a clever scientist. But we must keep going. We must dig deeper and deeper into the knowledge of the world. Science never stops. I've already prepared. Great. So why don't you tell me where you're stuck? Uh, I don't understand why the wall behind me has so many batteries to generate electricity. Batteries? What batteries? Uh, last time you showed us how a battery can turn on lights. Silly koala. A battery is just one way to generate electricity. In fact, it's not even the best way. We have many ways to generate power. So there are no batteries behind the light switch. Oh, 好吧，听起来有道理。那开关后边是什么呢 ？A great question. In fact, there are more wires, and these wires go out of your house and all the way to the power station. The power station gives electricity to all the homes. Wow, 也就是说，供电站在给我输送电子。Almost. Electricity needs a loop. It's not electrons that bring energy to the light bulb, but the constant flow of electrons in a loop. Wow! 原来墙后面的世界这么精彩。你能展示给我们看吗，克里斯博士 ？Yes. How about you, children? Would you like to peer behind the wall with us? Let's go. Hi, children. So far, we've learned that electric forces are caused by charges, but those charges stayed still on our straws and balloons. This was static electricity. So, the light bulb cannot be charged by electricity, right? Exactly. For that, we need to think about how electricity is caused by moving charges. This is called Current electricity. 电流像是河里的一股股水流那样吗 ？Exactly. And we even use the word flow to describe the movement of electrons, just like the flow of water in a river. Water travels in a cycle. First, rains fill up the lakes, then the lake spills into the river, and the river takes water to the ocean, and the water evaporates back in, into the clouds. And, 然后云在下雨，把水送回去，就是这个循环吗 ？Yes. Have you ever seen the water wheels in the countryside of China? It's very similar to that. If we put a wheel in the water, it will continue to turn because of the flow of water. But if that flow of water was ever broken, the wheel would stop. 所以说，电子就像是水。电灯泡就好像是一个水车轮。Exactly, and there's a flowing stream of electrons just behind the light switch. 电子的流动，哇 ！Yes, it's quite amazing what is happening behind the walls of our own home. There are electron loops 
in wires just behind the light switch. Electrons come in, loop around, and go out. 循环，这简直太难以置信了。克里斯博士，所有我见过的电线都是直接插到电源插座里去的。That's a great observation, Mama. But if you ever look at an electrical cord, there are two prongs on it. What are those for? 呃、uh, ，一根电线和两个插脚，好奇怪。What about you, children? Have you ever noticed that your outlet has more than one hole? What are they for? Let's close the loop. Hi, children. Do you remember our experiment from last time? Did you see the loop of electrical current? Let me remind you. You're using the loop to perform the magic of electricity, Kalisa Boshi. It's not magic. It's physics. So here we have a battery. The battery creates electrical current from chemical energy. Do you know what chemical energy is? Uh, what is chemical energy? Chemical energy is a kind of energy. This battery stores energy. Did you know about that? Oh, I know. I remember in the energy field class, all the energy comes from the sun. People use energy to create electricity, so the energy is stored in the battery. Exactly right. And now, this battery is changing chemical energy into the movement energy of electrons. We call it. Electrical energy. It's making electrons go around and around and around and around this loop, and inside the loop is a light bulb. Oh, 那现在电子失去了他们的动能武士，把他们传递到了电灯泡里，变成了光能武士。That's right. 可是这个开关又是干什么用的呢，克里斯博士 ？Good. I'm glad you noticed that. I have a switch in this loop as well. What do you think will happen if I move it? I don't know. The light may go out, just like the switch in the house. Yes. See? Now, what happens if I move the switch? The light goes off. The light goes off. What does that mean? No light means no power. Correct. And the reason there's no light means no electricity is because there's no electrical energy. And if there's no energy, it definitely means there's no electrons moving. So what is stopping the electrons from moving? Is the switch preventing the electrons from moving? Yes. The switch does something very simple. It cuts the loop. And if there's no loop, there's no current. And if there's no current of electrical energy, there's no light. 太有意思了！我以为房子里电灯的科技会非常难理解呢，但是现在我明白了。Great! Now you know how electricity works. Every time you move a switch, you can imagine you're stopping or starting the flow of electrons behind the wall. 这种跟水闸一样挡住了水的流动。我已经学习了好多物理知识，克里斯博士。现在我们既然已经学完了电力，我们能讲讲太空和激光大战了吗？砰砰砰 ！You are so silly, Mang Mang. In fact, our lesson is only half over. Electric forces are only half of what scientists call the electromagnetic force. 电磁、磁铁，电还包括了磁铁吗？太酷了 ！Yes, let's play. Hi, children. Today we learned about current electricity, which powers your home, including your computer and your phone. Before that, we learned about static electricity. In both cases, we talked about charges. Positive and negative. There is something similar to charges in nature, and they are everywhere. They are magnets, and like charges, magnets are in most technology. Part of the reason for this is that electricity and magnetism are two sides of the same physical force. It's called the electromagnetic force. Don't worry. We'll talk all about this in the coming lectures. 
for now, let's have some fun with magnets. For this game, you'll need a paper plate and some magnets. Draw a tricky maze on the plate and put magnets on both sides and see if mom or dad can solve the puzzle. Or you can have mom or dad draw you a tricky maze and see if your magic maze runner can get to the end. See what else you can move with magnets. And next time, we'll talk all about it. Bye.